Look at that. So are we putting on like the world's largest wing? That's what I'm titling this video, Mike, just so you know. The world's largest wing. I don't know if we can call it the world's largest wing. Well, we're gonna. On a 550, maybe. I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> is it from a P51 Mustang? It is. Then I'm in. <laughs> well, this thing's sick. Like, look at this with the light. Now you can really get all the details and stuff. Very, 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 very cool. Here is the wing. We haven't revealed this yet, have we? Look at the size, the sheer length of that thing. This is like a, a custom one-off that they made at APR for us. So what do you have to do to actually get this to work right because we don't want to put that on and just drive it down the road it would warp all this wouldn't it yeah so they actually have the carbon base plates that they sell with the universal wing carbon yeah holy crap Damn. nice pieces huh that's nice that chunk's not flat though is it exactly so we're gonna have to bevel this a little bit we're gonna have to kind of sand the edges down and kind of make it slightly rounded instead of landing it here put it somewhere around here yeah. and you can see there's a little gap there so we'll just sand the edges make it a little bit rounded this will still stay flat this won't suck up the difference hey eh? pretty hard rubber so we do want to sand this down and get some angle on it and then the use rubber your sander don't you he does want to use it he sand for sure we're gonna sand this we're gonna sand the tail light we're gonna sand the key off a little bit we also have the glass. The glass is in here, right? Yeah, For the doors. Right. These are at our shop. And then we have a brand new windshield coming actually from Scuderia. But now you guys can really see this thing with some light. I love the louvered hood. Like it is just the coolest thing ever. Mike made all this stuff by hand. The side skirts definitely give it that aggressive lower profile. That front splitter dude's gonna eat some shit. We're gonna have to make a few of those. So I think if we bring the front end up just a little bit, maybe the rear end also. So it still has that rake to it. Evens it out a little. Evens out a bit. It looks killer like this, but like you said, we're driving on the street. You're gonna we're, tear that splitter off. We might want to take this to Gumball, so you, you know. It's gotta be drivable. 12 countries, 3,000 miles. So this is actually two layers. Yeah, so you have the outer skin, Yeah. and then you have the uh, reinforcement basically underneath it that makes it stiff so it doesn't flop around. Figure out where the wing's gonna sit, get those plates in place, then we'll mark it, and we'll drill through from the top straight down, and punch a hole out of the bottom, and then we'll come in with a hole saw down here and make a bigger hole so we can get the socket basically with the nuts in there and be able to bolt the wing down. Stiff. Flop around, bigger hole. I'm listening. Very interested in this conversation. He's very interested. <laughs> Dave always comes in in the right time. <laughs> Step one, walk everybody through this. I know a lot of you watching would love a little more detail about how Mike does what he does. And so would I. This type of stuff I'm really interested in. The engine stuff's like way past my head. I really love fab. You can be really creative. Engine stuff, not so much, right? It's more of a science. <laughs> yeah. So today is all about this arrow that Mike's created. We have this aggressive 599 FXX kind of Evo looking diffuser. Now we want to match that and even that out up here with the wing. And that's what the wing's ultimately going to do here, you guys. Yes, this is a pretty clean look. This little duckbill here at the end. And we could even accentuate that with another carbon piece, but we thought we'd just go with the ultimate DDE big aggressive wing because race car. Here we go. So you tape this up. This is obvious not to ruin the paint. The brand not new paint. It. Exactly. Because yeah. we're going to set the wing down there and move it around a little bit and start to uh, basically mark it out, mm -hmm. measure across there and make sure the wing's centered on the car. How did you come up with the width of the wing that we wanted for this car? I based it off of how wide the diffuser is and okay. how wide the quarter panels are. Yep. This is a big wing. That's a big wing. It's a big wing. It's as wide as the car is. Was it bigger than they wanted to make? Was it like my this is a bit nuts. So like, listen to me. They said <laughs> 71 inches the widest they make. And I said, can you make it 74? And they Actually? said, yes. So if you go on our <laughs> website and you look for the wing sizes, it says maximum of 71 inches, but they made a custom 74 inches so we could get it perfectly the way we wanted it on the car. That's why. One of one. I'm really excited for all of the DD fam to finally see this car in reality because on a video, and you guys who've come and met us at different car events or on the rallies have always said, man, this thing is way crazy in person and it's very very true when you see the 550 it is a wide body car compared to the average car on the street look at the way that they've designed this or the cabin this is all factory b pillars a pillars the roof the hips look at how insanely wide it comes out on the hip very wide car from the factory is my point that's why we've decided to hold off on drilling or cutting the fenders and all that so this is going to be a good clean looking car with a massive wing at the back this may or may not completely f the look of the car so stick around to find out it's gonna definitely change the appearance. I guarantee you that. Holy bro. It's bigger <laughs> than you. It's bigger than Mike. Holy crap, how tall are you? I'm like 5'10". 5'9". 5'9 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna give you not a full glimpse of how wide this is. Oh my goodness. Beautiful carbon. They do amazing work with carbon fiber and you can order custom stuff, right? Like this is also the same company we're gonna go to to have the front splitter. That was only like that for the reveal and we'll now then go to APR to be made out of. Exactly. We're gonna pull that French splitter off. It was only on there for the reveal. So that's going to come off. It's going to go to APR and they're going to make 
make us a carbon fiber front splitter. Basically, we set the wing on the car, we lined it all up, measured the marks that we put to make sure the wing was centered in the car, and then after that, we outlined the wing upright on the tape, so we drew it down with Sharpie, and then I took a piece of cardboard to line up and actually extend the lines on the car so that when I'm lining up the carbon fiber piece, I can make sure that the lines line up with the grooves, otherwise I would just see the edges of the black mark. You wouldn't be able to see them. Now I can place this in here, see where the end goes, and line up the little notches with those lines. Then I can draw the holes and basically drill the holes out. This is Drilling. the moment. Uh, this is the moment, right? <laughs> hey Dave, you want to drill the hole? No, never mind. He's busy. <laughs> he ran away. He did run away. <laughs> All right, so we always start out with a small drill bit to make a pilot hole, and that keeps the holes lined up centered. So we'll use increasingly larger drill bits. That'll keep our hole centered and not only centered, but round. If you start out with a big drill bit, it'll kind of get triangular and it'll walk around a lot. I should have started with a small screwdriver. <laughs> Right, now, so we're through the first layer, yeah. and now we want to keep going. So we want to make sure the drill is squared up with the deck lid. We don't want to go at an angle. Make sure it's square okay. in both directions. There's one. Drilling a Ferrari. With a fresh paint job. <laughs> that's actually very, that's a good point, sir. <laughs> And we don't want to go all the way through both layers, just the top. I want to leave that small eighth inch hole on the bottom so I can use a small hole saw. Basically use that as a pilot hole. He's got a pocket full of bits. Pocket of bits. <laughs> pocket. He's just whipping bigger. No, you're not whipping bigger <laughs> holes out. That's just sound. Okay, just go all. <laughs> Shut the up. We've got our pilot holes in the bottom now from the small holes that we drilled all the way through. Now we've got this small hole saw. So it's a three quarter inch hole saw and this is an eighth inch pilot on the end. So we can get that right inside the hole there and then we'll just drill these out. Ta -da. And then we'll clean the holes up with the, with the deburring tool after. It yep. always leaves those little sharp edges. A deburrowing tool. De tool. Deburr. Deburr. Deburring tool. Yep, so all those little pieces of metal are burrs and you use that and kind of, it's like a little knife with a hook on the end and it just cleans the hole right out. I know nothing about this stuff. It's really interesting to me. This stuff is really interesting. I love fab work. It's just, like I said, you can just be so creative with it. This is gonna clean up all those edges. Yeah, you can see that, like just peels off that inside and makes it nice and smooth. All right, we have the holes, now what? All right, so this is brand new paint, get a cloth and just rub it in. Oh, no, 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 watch, 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 watch. Do you much damage I could do right now with just one movement? Black is actually hell for paint that way because it shows everything. Like, it's probably already scratched this car right now just from like the air and the environment and the yeah, air no, gun. It, so it just came back from the paint shop, you know, a week or whatever. And the paint's still soft. Like wiping the car when it's clean with a microfiber will actually leave like slight scratches. So it'll get buffed. He really out understands again. the word soft, doesn't he? He does. Oh, oh, there. So you got the little bit of curvature you needed out of that? Sand it down and actually taper it on one side because this has more of a kind of a hump here. That's looking pretty good now. A Little bit of a gap there, but I don't want to sand off too much. And I think the rubber will take up the rest of that. So I can almost push this down and flex it to fit right there. That looks pretty good. Now I'll do the other side. All right, so right now we're putting one. these, that one's right. Yeah. Right there. Okay. Got it, got it. Do that one. <laughs> this one. Can you imagine? Do that one. Do that one. <laughs> You're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. How does this all work? <laughs> So yeah, Dave's helping us out here. Um, <laughs> I'm actually not as dumb as I pretend to be, but it's just more fun to do this than to actually be serious right now. Fair enough. So that's me being funny. That's humor right there, you guys. That's the punch that's line. The, <laughs> that's the punch line. So right now we're putting these studs in here. So oh, they're already studs. in. They're already in here. In here. <laughs> a couple of studs. All right, and a few more. All right, so basically a bolt would have a head on it. A stud is just threaded, so. Put the studs in and then we're able to stop <laughs> the from the bottom. Yeah. The bottom. We can put the nuts on. So those are easier <laughs> to line up than putting. I feel I'm leaving. You're killing me right now. Oh my gosh. Carbon plate, rubber gasket. Many, many hands make light work. That's true. Right? Well, I don't know if that's true. That's fun to say. Michael Asa, <laughs> your fab guru. Now we get to fit it. Let's see if your holes line up. Let's see. This is where we scratch the paint. Oh, it's killing me. Hey, it works. That's where you go, like a glove. How big is part of the wing? <laughs> it's, Dude, it's massively perfect. Watch out pedestrians. <laughs> Watch out power lines. Oh my gosh. It's so cool. And it doesn't even have the end plates you on it You spot yet. this car in Flight Tracker now. <laughs> if you have the Flight app. Tracker. We're approaching in the uh, uh, 550. It completely makes the back of the car. Uh, like completely it changes it. everything. You have to wait to see it. Holy crap. That's show business, you guys. And when you crouch, crouch down. Watch when you crouch down. Oh, 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 oh. There's the thumbnail. 
Yeah. It's the next trick. I like this. All right, so if you just try to put this nut into the socket, yeah, it's gonna fall out when we try to put it in the car. Okay. We're gonna use a piece of paper towel, put that in there, put the nut in there. And now... Hold on. Hold, hold on. on. Hold on. Okay, David hard to Blaine. Reach. <laughs> hard to reach spots. Easy to get to when you get this. There's a piece of paper towel. That's what she said. <laughs> paper towel on my car now. There's paper towel in there, but it'll, it'll come out. <laughs> I'm multitasking right now. I currently I'm holding the camera while holding the wing while holding my emotions close to my heart. I got it out this time. I would like to point out that Mike didn't just make an epic rear diffuser. This is also a security device. If you get too close to the back end of this car, yeah. this oh. will bite you. I've already walked into it twice with my shin. Well, up our liability insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, if it was a race car, we would mark all these holes. Mm -hmm. It would be like A1, A2, down. Yeah. So that when you're at the track and you dial the car in, you'd say, okay, for this track, we want the wing at 12 degrees, but instead of having to go out and get an angle finder and measure the angle, you'll do that at all the shop. You'll mark the wing and you'll say, okay, A12 is the hole we want. That's the setup for this track. How do you guys know the pitch of a wing when you're drifting and making a difference? Like, how do you measure that? Most companies that make quality wings will actually have down Force at angle at speed. So they'll have all those calculations and say oh. at 100 miles an hour, at 10 degrees, it'll make 500 well, it depends on what downforce. car goes on because there's other factors. Isn't there are. So the way that the air comes over the roof is one of the factors. Maybe air coming out of the hood and going over dirty air. It sounds like somebody on the racing wants to justify their job. Hey, Mike, I was watching you out there. I need to go to A2 on the wing. Yep. I did some calculations. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, sometimes but two seriously. degrees of wing change will make the car either loose or gripped or have too much rear downforce and the car will want to understeer a lot. So you'll have to just basically set up the car to each particular track. So slower tracks, you're going to want more wing angle. You're going slower, but you're trying to get as much grip as possible. You said loose. What do you, <laughs> what do you think of the track? The 405. The 405 will probably run about 10 to 11 degrees so that uh, when you're in the carpool lane at carpool lane speed, yeah. you'll have the proper amount of grip. That's gonna be right here, guys. B2, B2. What do we got here, the carbon end plates? Here's the carbon end plates. We were joking on whether or not the quality of these would be pretty much identical based on the process of what I used to do 25 years ago when I made carbon fiber. And I'm gonna say, yes. I bought your end plates from you when I was 18 years old. I was in your garage when I was 18. Anyway, it's the exact same. Same cuts on the end where it wasn't finished. Yeah. You uh, stole the logo. I did not steal that you logo years ago. That. <laughs> so I used to sell carbon fiber parts on eBay. Do you Fun fact, do you, do you remember the company name? Go. D&D &D Composites. There you go. It wasn't for Dave. It's a Dungeon and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember why? Darren. Darren. Damon and Darren. Yeah. Why do I keep ending up with people I work with with the first letter is D? Because you're all over the D, Damon. D. Oh my gosh. All right, nice. so it's pretty solid. I like the shape of them. Can we just talk about how far this comes out past, <laughs> past the edge of the car? <laughs> I just wanted to be sure. maniac. But I do love it. But it is excessive. It's crazy. I uh, oh, can't wait to show you guys. We'll take it outside into the sun. Oh, <laughs> changes the way that this car looks. It flows with how aggressive the front end of this car has become with the side skirts and everything. And now we've got the massive wing. Completely resembles the wings that they had on the actual 550 like GT cars, yeah. the GTC evolution and all that. The best part is from like right here. Oh my goodness, that is so epic. What are you doing to our van, you guys? Everything's fine. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It's okay. The van's gonna get fixed, that's why it's here. So look at this thing. We have some secret mods for the minivan, but first she needs some love. Fresh repaint, big wing, wheels. Yeah. Right, ready? Yeah. This thing is absolutely amazing. I love it. Check it out. Oh, 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 Thoughts, feelings, emotions?
<laughs> win, man. I don't know how you do this. on gumball yes we we windshield let's take it on yeah yeah uh, one request for me to fire what a windscreen or a helmet with a blink visor on but no, i think you should man will it survive gumball is the question will this survive gumball this thing is so epic you guys we really should take it on gumball Freaking love this car. Honestly, the seats. I could do eight to ten hours in these seats. Yeah, they're not bad. They're I, th comfy. I think so right now, but we'll see later. But yeah, yeah, it looks so good. Like watching you guys behind me, the car looks so insane on the streets. Menacing. It's so cool. Well, I get a little childish. I get a little excited. We're gonna take the dash out. We're gonna do Alcantara on the dash. Mike had a plan for the door panel, so he's just taking the stock door panel. And he's cut them so that the mechanism here can basically still have something covering it because it's not a flat door panel. Yeah, the door has kind of a weird shape to it. So well, it's because it's got power windows. Yeah. Exactly. Real race cars don't have power windows. No. For Gumball, we have work to do, Mike. We have to put in like iPads, anti-police surveillance measures. Night vision. Night like, vision. Like what you can get on a Hummer. Yeah. Day vision. If we had a... <laughs> <laughs> we'll start with that. <laughs> right, David installed. I really love this thing. It's probably, would you say, 90% done? Yep. Like now it's a matter of making a few little tweaks, the things we want to make look a little prettier. Probably gonna take the valve covers off and have them done red. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, I, I think this thing's so sick. And the accent color for this car for now will be red. Red handbrake, red brake calipers, we'll have the red engine covers. It turned out so good, bro. Like, you honestly made a dream come to reality. You nailed everything. The cool thing was you didn't consult me a whole lot. You just basically were like, what do you want? I was like, I want this. And then you made it. And I was like, that's perfect. Like the side skirts and the louvers and like the front end and everything. And what's going on? Are you stuck? Help me, help me. Yeah, I got you. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> the bear claw. Uh, just come hey. out, yeah. Just come out. Man, what an experience. <laughs> That come. should be the- While you're driving, like, oh, uh, slow down! <laughs> <laughs> that would be <laughs> terrified. <laughs> oh, on the freeway! Damn it, come <laughs> Handbrake? No, over here! Left, right! You can drive from up here. If you had a remote That's throttle true. and brake, you could drive like this. It's so scary. The European police, when they see this thing, uh -oh. What's that handle for? Air conditioning? Um, <laughs> you got hot, you pull it and you hold it. Uh, I think really cool to do a full build on, like a full rally build on this car for a gumball and really go the extra mile and I have like anti things and those things and satellite. And you know when Bose had that spinning thing on the roof? Did he just say he's he's satellite? What's he talking? Put a dish on the roof? Yeah, Starlink. <laughs> Starlink on the top yeah. of it? Yeah. They probably put it in the back too. So no, damn it, damn it, hold on. Nerd, right. nerd, nerd alert. Why don't we Thanks for watching this video. More bad ideas coming your way. Peace. I'm gonna go with that's definitely for us. The cop helicopter. Yeah, right now. Okay, yeah, we gotta go before the cops send SWAT here and kick Mike's fence in. What are you doing? Whatever I want, bro. Ferrari. 